Wealthy donor spent nearly $400 million during the primary elections supporting candidates who dropped out. You'd think maybe they were weary of wasting money on politics? You'd be wrong. Maybe they're federal up, but I doubt it. Anthony Scoramuchai, founder of Skybridge Capital and a Donald Trump advisor, tells Yahoo Finance in the video above. At the end of the day, there's seduction and some level of intoxication with the process. Trump has struggled to raise money for a couple of reasons. He partly self-funded his campaign until June and didn't have a fundraising operation in place until midsummer. Some regular GOP donors have shunned Trump because of his unorthodox style or controversial positions he has taken on issues like Muslims, immigration and free trade. Hillary Clinton seems likely to outraise and outspend Trump, especially when it comes to the super PAC able to raise unlimited sums from the wealthiest Americans. Still, Trump has begun to haul in some big money donors himself, including investors Paul Singer, Cliff Asmus, Warren Stevens, and Bruce Defender, businessmen Richard Uline and Bill O'Bairn Doors, and the Ricketts family, which owns the Chicago Cubs. Trump may very well lose the election, adding millions more to the ledger of feudal campaign donations. But donors may not necessarily care. What donors like is the opportunity to have access to and conversations with the potential candidates, for as much I says. I think it's fun for people. They want to have a say or a window on the inside. And even losing candidates often remain the IPs worth calling for a favor from time to time. Filmmaker Alessandra Pelosi explored the question of what big donors get for their money in the recent documentary, Meet the Donors. She seems to agree with for as much I. It's about the access. She told Yahoo Finance in July. Most people on the street can't just sit down with Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump. But the mega donors can because they write the big checks. In Pelosi's film, several of America's biggest check writers said they enjoy having a say in how a campaign is run, but don't expect explicit favors in return for their contributions. Several showed off framed photos of themselves with members of the Bush or Clinton families as if that sort of rarefied memento were reward enough for their largest. This year's presidential campaign includes a twist on the troubling role money plays in politics, thanks to revelations that some donors to the Clinton Foundation sought special access to Hillary Clinton while she was Secretary of State. Hello, C's film makes clear that big political donors seek special access as a matter of course. The difference with the Clinton Foundation is that it's a non-profit appearing to hide political activities behind the curtain of charity work. If fundraisers are one thing, they're bold. 